This video is about calculating relative formula mass. You should be able to recognise the abbreviation for this, which is capital M little r, because this might appear in a question about relative formula mass. If you get a question about relative formula mass, as long as you follow a few rules, it is simply adding up numbers that you find in the periodic table. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples to help you. So the first one, calculating the relative formula mass of calcium carbonate, the first thing that you should do is write down the elements that are in the compound. So each element starts with a capital letter. You've got Ca for calcium, C for carbon, and O for oxygen. And then you need to write down how many atoms of each element there are. So if there is just one atom, they don't put a number one there. If there's any more than one atom, you'll find a different number like two, three, four, or five, etc. So in this compound, there is one atom of calcium, one atom of carbon, but three atoms of oxygen. And then the next thing we do need to do is find out the mass of each of these. So if we go to our periodic table, which you will get in your exam, you really need to get in the habit of looking at the key because that will give you an indication of which number, the top or the bottom, is the mass number. So in the key it says at the top is the relative atomic mass. And this is what you need to be looking for because we're going to be calculating relative formula mass. So we need to find calcium. The relative atomic mass of calcium is 40. Carbon. The relative atomic mass of carbon is 12. And oxygen. The relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So now we know these numbers, we can calculate the relative formula mass. So carbon, we said the relative atomic mass was 40. So we need one atom of carbon times by 40. Carbon, we said the relative atomic mass was 12, so one atom of carbon times by 12. And oxygen, we said the relative atomic mass was 16, so three atoms of oxygen times by 16 will give us the mass of oxygen in here. So to complete these, we've got 40, 12 and 48. And all you need to do for the relative formula mass is add up these numbers. So you're adding up the calcium, the carbon and the oxygen to find out the relative formula mass of calcium carbonate. And if you do that, you'll find that the relative formula mass, MR, equals 100. And you don't put any units on it. For H2O then, as our second example, we use exactly the same method. We write down our elements h and o we've got two hydrogens one oxygen so we find the masses on the periodic table the relative atomic mass of hydrogen is one and the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. complete these calculations add them together and find out that the relative formula mass for water is 18. And finally for barium nitrate, this is the most difficult one you'll find if you have brackets in your compound. But you do exactly the same method as before and write down your elements. So we've got barium, nitrogen, oxygen, and then we need to count the atoms of each element. So for barium, there's no number next to it and there's no brackets around it. So there is just one atom of barium. Now the rules of brackets are is everything in the bracket is multiplied by the number outside. So without any brackets, there would just be one nitrogen. But because this is involved in the bracket here, which is all multiplied by two, we need to do 2 times 1, which is 2 atoms of nitrogen. And in the same way, without the bracket, there would only be 3 oxygens, but with 
because it's in the brackets and there's a 2 outside, you need to multiply that by 2. So 2 times 3 is 6 atoms of oxygen. So looking on your periodic table to find the relative atomic masses, you'll see that the relative atomic mass of barium is 137. The relative atomic mass of nitrogen is 14. And the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So if you do these calculations, and add everything together, you'll find that the MR, the relative formula mass of barium nitrate, is 261. So here are some for you to try. Pause the video now and calculate the relative formula mass for these three compounds. So for H2SO4, you write down the elements in the compound as normal, write down how many atoms of each one there are, and then multiply these by their relative atomic mass. Adding all of these three numbers up will give you the relative formula mass of H2SO4, which is 98. For HCl, you have HCl, one of each atom, the relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, and the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. Add these two numbers together once you've done the calculation and you will get the relative formula mass of 36.5 for HCl. Iron sulphate on the end, a little bit more going on with the brackets here, we've got two iron this time, we've got sulfur and oxygen and if you have a look at the brackets you've got three times sulfur so three times one is three and three times four oxygen so you've got 12 oxygen multiply that by the relative atomic mass on the periodic table you've got 56 for iron you've got 32 for sulfur and you've got 16 for oxygen. So if you add these numbers together, you'll find that the relative formula mass of iron sulphate is 400. Very well done if you got all of these three questions correct.